This is a surveillance video. This is actually two news reports from where a surveillance video shows that this MPD officer ran a light that everybody else was slowing down at. The traffic light was malfunctioning. So one side was blinking red and the other side was blinking yellow. The motorcycle rider had the red blinking light treated it as a stop sign. Everybody on the red, uh, yellow blinking side was treating it as a stop sign. So the motorcycle guy stopped and then proceeded only to be hit by an MPD cruiser. Let's take a look at this, but I want to, I want to key in on the possibility that there just might be a cover up in here somewhere. Huh? Where have we heard that from before? Have obtained surveillance video of that deadly wreck involving a mobile police SUV and a motorcycle. Now it happened Friday night at Ziegler and Cody, and we have learned the traffic lights at that busy intersection were malfunctioning when the crash happened. 67 year old Robert Sayan died after his motorcycle collided with the patrol vehicle. Tonight, we're hearing from his family. And for the very first time, we're seeing how drivers were treating the blinking stoplights in the moments leading up to the wreck very differently. We're getting the first look at surveillance video that shows a deadly crash in West Mobile involving a mobile police officer. It shows a motorcycle and an MPD patrol car collide at a busy intersection. Stay tuned, guys, because the next video, the surveillance footage is going to be just a little bit more clear to you on what exactly happened. The motorcyclist who died has been identified as 67-year-old Robert Sayan. Tonight, this video shows what happened seconds before the impact. Shortly after 7 o'clock on Friday night, this is what it looked like at the intersection of Ziegler Boulevard and Cody Road. The traffic lights were flashing in both directions. Watch how some cars are treating the intersection as a four-way stop. Some are slowing down. Others are completely stopping. But and that's typically what you do when you have a traffic light that's malfunctioning. You use your common sense. I'm not even saying that every intersection needs a stop sign or a traffic light. You just need common sense. And if you have common sense and common decency and courteousness, then guess what? There's hardly any accidents. Go to Mexico. There's a lot of tr intersections that there aren't where there's there's no traffic signal. There's no lights, there's no signs, and people, and even in India, it looks like mayhem, but nobody's getting into any kind of accidents. So when you have a traffic light that's malfunctioning when people are used to it working, then you employ even more common sense and you slow down or you come to a stop, you look left, right, left again, whatever it takes to make sure that when, before you proceed, everything is safe. And this is another example where you need situational awareness. Even when I get the green light, and you're probably like this too, when I get the green light, I make sure no other cars are coming because you know what? You could be completely in the right. You've got the green right, green light. You've got the green arrow turning left. You start turning left and then somebody T-bones you on the side because they ran a red light. Well, yeah, you were in the right, but now either you're dead or your life has been permanently altered by not just this guy who is careless and wasn't paying attention, but by you, because if you paid more attention, you could have kept yourself out of that situation. You could have really looked and you're like, wow, that guy's that guy looks like he's accelerating. It doesn't look like he's going to stop. I better not take a left turn on my green arrow right now. Some drivers aren't slowing down. We've highlighted where Salen, who's on Cody, pulls up to the traffic light and waits. As he starts across the intersection, you can check that out. He's right there, right in the center of that circle. And here's the cop coming down. By the way, we know the motorcycle rider's name, but for some reason, and this is two weeks later, this is the 14th. This thing right here happened on the first or the second. We still don't know the identity of this police officer can see the MPD officer going west on Ziegler, appearing not to slow down as he approaches the blinking lights. We freeze the video right before the impact, which happened in the middle of the intersection. The officer continues to drive down the road until he goes out of frame. This was the aftermath of the crash. Several pieces of debris scatter across the road, several airbags deployed in the officer's vehicle. We went back out to the intersection this afternoon, the lights no longer blinking. 
Now, we don't know what colors the lights were blinking in any direction. We've been told Mobile Police also had the video you just saw. Now, the officer was in. This is people are asking what this is. This is MPD, Mobile, Mobile Police Department. Injured and taken to the hospital. It's unclear if he's returned to duty. Robert Sayan's family sent me this statement tonight, and it reads, we ask for prayers for his daughter and grandkids in Salisbury, North Carolina, his siblings. Frickin' sad. A life snuffed out by a patrolman, a law enforcement officer in a taxpayer-funded vehicle who should have known better. If there should be anybody, I thought it was protect and serve. Aren't you, aren't you there for the safety of the people? Don't you pull people over because you're trying to keep people on the roadway safe? We've seen far too many of these where patrol officers cause the accidents. Day before yesterday, we talked about that Washington State Patrol trooper who, for some reason, decided to swerve in front of a tractor trailer truck. And then the entire department got together to protect the young officer and ruin the life of the truck driver through lies. And if it wasn't for the dash cam footage, from the semi-truck driver, everybody would have believed the cops because we know the cops are just so trustworthy, right? ...in Oregon, Ohio, and his girlfriend and family here in Mobile. Robert loved riding his motorcycle, playing pool, and watching Who Done It shows. He will be greatly missed. Okay, so here's here's another one right here. This this is the same story, but from a different perspective. A Mobile police officer is on administrative duty after a deadly crash last week. The crash at Ziegler. He's on administrative duty. The guy killed somebody in an intersection. Why isn't he in jail? And why aren't you telling us what his name is? And Cody involved a patrol vehicle and a motorcycle, and the person on the motorcycle died. Four days later, we still have a lot of questions about the circumstances surrounding that crash. WKRG News 5's Asher Red explains why the police department isn't releasing any more information. The Mobile Police Department remains tight-lipped on a fatal crash involving one of their own. The reason for that, according to Mobile Police, is because... Tight-lipped on a crash involving one of their own. It's that thin blue wall of silence. Oh, you can't look beyond it. We're in the middle of an investigation. Can't give you any information. We're in the middle of an investigation. As a traditional accident report usually takes a week to complete. They say an accident report involving a fatality could take even longer than that. Before the accident report is completed, Mobile Police have to send it to the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency for approval. Only then would the public be able to get their hands on it. The fatal crash took place Friday night and claimed the life of 67-year-old Robert Sayan. Mobile Police say Sayan was crossing the intersection of Cody Road and Ziegler Boulevard when he collided with a Mobile Police cruiser. The accident happened at around 7 o'clock. Sayan was taken to the hospital where he later died of his injuries. Now, I have requested a sit-down interview with Chief Paul Prime, but was denied that opportunity because, as they say, this investigation is still ongoing. In Mobile, I'm Asher. Sorry, can't give you any information. How about the officer? No, nope, can't give you any information. How about, nope, can't give you any information. This is an ongoing investigation, and obviously, there's an ongoing event. It's an ongoing investigation, but we have the motorcycle rider's name, but we don't have the cop's name who caused the accident, who was clearly on surveillance video at fault. These people, man, it really, really makes you want to just freaking pull your hair out.